Hello, Crossroads. Hope everybody's doing fine. Um, I don't even know what week this four or five or something like that in this Corona era. Um, tonight's lesson, tonight's devotion comes from James chapter four, verses one through six. Um, it's things to avoid. Um, this message is um, uh, a message to believers um, more than a message of salvation, but, but uh, which I believe the whole book of James is is, is written to believers. Uh, if you would, uh, uh, pray with me, please. Father, my Lord, my God, um, I thank you for this opportunity to share your word. Lord, how much I love your word and how important, how, how timeless your word is. I beg you, please, God, let this word just resonate in our hearts and be on our lips, Lord, and, and, um, and let us tell people about you. I pray, Father God, again, for those on the front lines of this um, this, this virus, that they, these health workers and first response people. I ask, Father, that you would, Father, that they would lean on you for strength. Father, I pray for the day that, that we all gather again. God, we're not built for this. Uh, we're not made for this, this separation. Father God, I love you, and I love your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right, James chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Uh, what I'll do is I'll break it down verse by verse. Uh, and like I said, this is a message to believers um, that, that I believe James wrote to us. Uh, verse 1 says, Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires, uh, for your desire, a pleasure that that war in your members? Okay. What is the source of our fights? Um, what what things draw us? Uh, uh, the things that draw us are worldly, uh, lust of the eye, envy, pride, anger. Y'all, this is this is like idolatry. Uh, the conflict within us. Is, is, is the fight between our sinful desire, the old man, and our desire to please God, the new man. Uh, what, what desires do you feed? Is it God or is it the flesh? All right, verse 2. Verse 2 reads, You lust and you, you lust and do not have. You murder and covet and do not obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. All right. You know, most most of our conflicts among believers are over material things. John, John chapter 2, John chapter 2, verse 15 through 17 says, Do not love the world. Or the things of the world. If any of you loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. My wife and I, we'll, we'll go antique shopping in the wintertime when there's nothing else to do. And it's, it's, I've, I've, it's a sad thing when you come and you see all this furniture that used to be somebody's prized possessions. And, and now it's just in a, some old store somewhere. Uh, and, 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 and I think it's, it's just a sad thing because I, I, you're not going to take anything with you when you go. Uh, do you know that nearly every war that has been fought has been fought over money, uh, n not religion or, or uh, not somebody's point of view? Um, in Second Peter two eleven, Second Peter two eleven says, "Beloved, 
I beg you as soldiers, as pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. The, God is begging us not to act worldly. He, he, he wants us, he, he wants a Christian to act and be different, be set apart from this world. All right, verse three. Verse three reads, you ask and, and you do not receive because you ask amiss that, that you may spend it on your, on your pleasures. All right, you ask amiss. Y'all, we pray for the wrong things and in the wrong way. And it becomes, it becomes a habit praying this way. Uh, you are the temple where God dwells. The enemy and God can't be in the same temple. We pray, we pray, Lord, be with us. Or Lord, give me strength. We all do this, uh, just just not knowing. This is a bad habit, and and it can and it can promote. It it does promote unbelief. It's vain repetition. It's it's, it's thoughtless. It's it's a thoughtless mechanical routine. Hey, it's an insult to the Word of God. Once you accept Christ as your Savior, He is with you, and, and, and we have no strength apart from Christ. I have no strength apart from Christ. Christ is my strength. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ is in the believer permanently. Verse 4. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be friend, be a friend of the world, makes himself an enemy of God. You know we have a choice to make: is it Jesus or the world? It's, it's like having, it's like having two dogs within you. That, that 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 war with each other and and which one which one will you feed the most second corinthians 616 says in what agreement has the temple of god with idols for you are the temple of the living god as god has said i will dwell in them i will walk among them i will be their god and they shall be my people. Verse 5. Or do you do you or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy, jealously. Yeah, that word. All right, in Exodus. Chapter 20, starting at verse 2, it says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other God before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is on earth beneath, that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to, to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments. God is a jealous God. Um, not, nothing else to be said here. Uh, you're either in or you're out. Verse 6, verse 6. Okay. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Why does God hate pride? Um, 
one reason is that pride is, is, is giving yourself credit instead of giving God credit for what he does. Another thing is, is, is that the Christian life is, is unity with other believers. Uh, pride, pride leads to individualism. And, I, and I'm, I'm by no way uh, promoting collectivism or com, com, communal, communism, communal, whatever, isms. Uh, uh, Galatians 3.28 says, you are all one in Jesus Christ. As, as believers, we belong to one another, the body of Christ, which is the church. We have different responsibilities, different gifts, but we share the same life in Christ. We have different ministries, but we have the same salvation, the same forgiveness, the same Father, the same future. No believer is better than the other. The enemy the enemy wants to divide us. He, if he can divide us, if, if the world sees us divided, they will think that we're spiritually divided. We are, all, we are one body in Christ. We as believers need to send the same message of salvation, sanctification, and service to this world. We need to display and declare our oneness. Uh, Jesus prayed this in John 17. We, we're church people. Uh, as believers, I mean, I mean, we want to be at church. And it's because of love. And it's because of Jesus. This thing, this, this corona thing where we can't go to church doing these videos and all this stuff, this, this, this is not how, this is not how we roll. Uh, this, this is not this is not normal for us. It definitely ain't normal for me. We're, we're, we're the body of Christ, and and we're meant to be together, and and you know, and I, I pray for a timely end on this thing. Pray with me, Father. I thank you so much for your Word. I thank you so much for the body of Christ. I yearn for the day that we can all gather back together, Father one accord. I pray for unity in the church, Lord God. I pray that we would always be unified in one accord, Lord, that we'd be about salvation, about winning the lost to you. I love you, Lord. I love your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It's, 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 I yearn to see folks. Um, the further and further down the road we get, um, it just seems like the, I, 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 I just, you know, I'm just lost for words for not, for not, I mean, it, it I don't know. I, I, there's just so many people that, 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 you know, and I wonder who this is affecting, you know, how, how, how in, in a bad way, uh, um, how people are hurting, um, Please just, like Edward said, if you need something, call the church. Um, I, I, you know, we're there. I'm there to pray with you. Um, this, this, this thing will be over soon. It, it'll be over soon. It has to be. And, and, and we'll be back to normal soon. Um, I try to stay upbeat um, and, and have faith. Thank you.